when you cut glass, you can cut it with a green saw. We put water in here, and when you turn it on, it keeps the band from heating up and breaking. And you know, you have to wear a little water thing. But you can see, you know, you've been cutting pieces. Now, you can do it uh, in uh, CAD. I was totally advocating that my granddaughter learn CAD because I wanted her to work for me. Like, I need CAD because it's an expensive process. You can cut the pieces to fit the way you want. And so, right now that's still being finessed. There's still a lot of pieces that don't work. But if you do silk screen and you know what an acetate is, it's separations, right? And you take each piece and then you cut it down and then you put it on a clear piece, you're creating a puzzle. And then you get, um, it's called frit. And if you look over here, I have a lot of different colors. Um, the other person that's been working with me on this a little bit is Victoria Molina. She's nice. come in and she started doing one here. This is a piece that is being, that is uh, David Flurry. So, you know, he gave me this drawing and so then we have to cut each piece to match the map. And then it's all put on this clear piece and then I go down to uh, Pacific Art Glass in Gardena and then I fill it with frit. It comes in different sizes so there's little gaps and I have to fill it in and it's time consuming because you have to sit there and fill it all in in one day. And you have to do the whole thing because then it changes and then you put it in the kiln and fire it up and it all melts together. My brother bought this one. So this belongs to him and he's going, are they going to pay me to show it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no bro, you haven't even finished paying me for it. <laughs> so uh, these are little LED lights and this has broken plate glass that I that I epoxied down in the cold bonding. So I, it's not fused, this part, but it'll cut your hand, so you keep wheels around. So this one's gonna go in the window. 